Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I actually have a plant haul for you. I went big box store hopping looking for some new goodies. I was really hoping to find one of the plants that I have in. I was over the moon when I did. So I'm going to get right into this so that I can make this video as short as possible. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go in order of what I have in front of me. Um, I will start with, I'm going to start with this one over here because I want to put it like away from everything. <laughs> this is an Aglionema and I am not exactly sure right now what the variation of this plant is, but I have been seeing this on different videos or different collections of Aglionema and this plant is so beautiful. Um, I do find that in identifying the Aglionema, this, um, there are so many of them that look so much alike that I'm not really sure exactly what the variety of this one is. And it just said Aglionema on the card that it came with. It is all bundled up in the bottom and because it's, <laughs> you know, it's new to my home. It has to stay in all, all secured away. But, um, this plant is absolutely beautiful. If you could help me identify this, I would really appreciate it. It does have the pale pink stems at the bottom and then the coloring on the leaves. It changes for each one of them. I have my suspicions as to what it is, but um, I'm not really sure. I love this all green leaf over here. It is so beautiful. And then you come over here and you have another one that's all twirly and curly. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I have been staring at this thing like all day. And then look at this one here. Look at that beautiful hot pink vein. So very beautiful. So again, I would really appreciate it if you could help me identify this plant. She's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this one I have to give a name. I have to give her a name. She is so pretty. I'll wait until my son comes back so that he can um, give me a good name for this one. He's at a, He has a doctor's appointment this morning, so he's not here. He went with his dad. I can't take them going to the doctor and getting shots, and I know he has to get shots today. So <laughs> his dad had to take him. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been this way from the very beginning. But anyway, I would really appreciate it if you could identify this for me. So I'm now I'm gonna put her back over here. There was something a little suspicious in her soil and so i just said i would just leave her separated oh and that one right there i purchased at home depot i purchased her at home depot she was actually in the clearance it was clearanced out because it was it has some leaves that were looking a little bit weird and so she was like clearance out so yay 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 this was the next thing that i purchased and I knew that these leaves would not survive because they were definitely eaten out and the base of it was a little bit mushy. It fell out of the pot when I was there, but they gave me such a good deal on it that I couldn't pass it up. There was only one corm in the base of this pot, but I have it in here, right down here in the moss, and there is actually a baby at the base of this stem. And so hopefully at least one of those will produce. And when I get um, a plant that is on clearance, I look at it and I want to know if something, if it doesn't survive, which I hope it does, I do, I hope you survive, but if it doesn't survive, will I be able to have something from it? And from the corm in here, which I thought it would have more than what it had, but there was a corm in here and then there was a baby at the base of this that I think should survive. The node was intact. And so I'm hoping that this one will survive because it's so beautiful. I am so in love with this plant. And again, this was from Home Depot and she came in this pot right here. Look how cute that is. So for the price that I paid, I looked at the pot. I said, well, I would pay this price over and over again for this pot. And so I knew it was going to be worth it. And then to have this beautiful baby inside, definitely worth it. So hopefully this will be okay. Again, I really don't expect this leaf right here to survive, but I do expect something good to come from its roots. And I am completely content with being able to just nurse her back to health and just to wait on her to become big and beautiful all over again. She's so pretty and she was definitely worth it. She made me so happy. I bought her yesterday and she has been making me so happy. She made me happy yesterday. She's making me happy today with what she has. So it was definitely worth it. <laughs> Next, again, from Home Depot, I purchased this, I'm going to say, uh, what is this again? The name is escaping me right now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, that's okay. 
make sure yes okay <laughs> okay i purchased this plant right here this philodendron something okay i i re i got the name for it it's just escaping me right now but look how beautiful she is look how gorgeous look at this she's going to look so beautiful in my waterfall of plants because she's going to add a different texture and a different variation in color and so i'm really excited about this i can't wait for her to go through her time where she is just separated from everything else to find out that she's okay the pot she came in is absolutely gorgeous. This was $8.98 in this beautiful floral pot. And then it's just in a nursery pot inside. Now, when I purchased it, it had one more leaf and I destroyed it. I knocked the leaf off in transport. I'm gonna show it to you. This is the leaf that I knocked off. And even though I know she doesn't have a note or anything, I just put her into some water and I've just been enjoying her in some water. I love to have cut flowers, so why not have a cut leaf, huh? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? This was the leaf that I fell in love with when I saw her in the store and then I knocked her off. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I'm still enjoying her even though I know that this would just be short-lived. It's okay, she's still making me happy. Look how beautiful that is. My dog is barking, maybe the cat. I have been feeding a cat and I don't think my dog likes it very much. <laughs> and so I think she's on my porch. She's actually huge. She's a huge cat and she belongs to one of my neighbors. <laughs> anyway, my cat, my dog is not liking it. <laughs> Anyway, this is the beautiful leaf that fell off and so far she is just so pretty and standing so firm just being in the water. I hope she lasts for a little while because she's really pretty. Next, I will go over to the plant that I got in Walmart, a wishless plant. <laughs> Syngonium Winlandii. Look how beautiful she is. She does have some cosmetic damage, but I will tell you, I went into the area where they had their plants because this, the Walmart that I went to, they actually didn't have any plants at all. But then when I saw them putting so many um, new pots out inside the store, I just asked them, do you have um, living plants? And the woman says, oh, we have some back there. And so I said, oh, that I was so excited. I went into the back and there was just a big, huge tarp hanging from ceiling to floor and then just open area. And I just said, wow, that's strange. There's nothing back here. And so I went behind the tarp and there was a heated room with so many beautiful plants. Wow, I was so excited. And I went in and everything they had was the thing, they were the things that I saw in other stores. But then squished in the middle, I saw this leaf, just that one right there. It was just squished in the middle. And I said, oh, Oh, and Landy, I, I was so excited. It was just so amazing that I just saw that one because they were just squished with a whole bunch of, I'm trying to remember what was around it. I think they were um, golden pothos were all around it. And then this was in the middle and it did come in a really beautiful pot. This, this is the hanging pot that it came in. This is the hanging pot. Look at the braid on the top. Look at that. This is so beautiful. It's a 6.6 .6 inch hanging basket. It was $19.84 for the pot and the plant. So where is the plant needed some attention? You can see that it still has um, some cosmetic damage, but when I purchased it, it actually had this attached to it as well that was obviously not really receiving enough nourishment because of the base of it. But this was attached to it. This was completely flat like this. And I just said, okay, let me just, I'm gonna take, I know that this is going to bounce back. I, and I didn't get a discount, there was nothing. But with that pot, this plant, my heart fluttering, yeah, this was gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, she's beautiful. I love this so much. And she's in a pink vase because obviously she's going to be in my closet where I have pink pots in there. So this is going to go into my closet. Originally, I said I would just cut her, I mean, root her up and then put her right back into this pot. But I'm sure that with all of this plant in here, there is still one, two, three, four separate plants inside this pot. I'm sure this will fill out just fine because we know Syngonium pretty much grow very quickly. I'm not sure about this variety, but 
I'm sure it will be fine. Now I'm just looking, this right here is the, look at this beautiful leaf. Look how beautiful she is. She's so pretty. She doesn't feel real. She almost feels like a thick paper. She really, it just feels like paper. I didn't expect that. I expected it to be velvety because usually when people describe the Winlandii, they say that it's a little bit velvety, but I don't find that it's velvety as much as it feels almost like a silky, a raw silky paper. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so nice, such a different variety. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if maybe I should maybe have a little piece of this for my um, for my waterfall area because this would definitely add a different texture and color to that area. So maybe I'll take, because I actually chopped this into five different pieces. That's how long the piece was. It was hanging off of the side. So I have more than enough to share around in the different places in my house. But I do definitely want to, come on, but I do definitely want to have this in my closet because like I mentioned, I have pink pots in my closet and the pink pots with the dark green leaves to me look so beautiful. And so this right here will definitely be one that I will have in there. This stripe going down the middle like a skunk is so beautiful. And just to let you know, I think skunks are so incredibly cute. And so seeing this little skunk-like stripe right here, it just makes me so happy. I've wanted this for so long. I started collecting Syngonium last year and I never came across this one. So when I saw that one leaf peeking out of the golden pothos, it was just amazing. I was in shock. Number one, walking into that back area and seeing that row of beautiful, well-kept plants in Walmart, it made me so happy. And so seeing this was just like the bonus of a lifetime. <laughs> Oh, look at her. She is so pretty. So these are all, of course, still separated and they're just spending their time being quarantined. So that is my complete haul for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if you have a wish list plant that you've come across in a big box store at a fabulous price. I would love to know. I really enjoy everything that you guys have been sharing with me. It has been so much fun just sharing these videos and getting so much from all of you. It's really, really been nice. It has really, really been nice. Thank you again for watching, subscribing, and liking, and leaving a comment if you'd like to. I will talk to you guys again very shortly. Bye.